you know, CrossFit and other cross training modalities tend to get a bit of a bad rap, um, at least amongst um, much of the, the serious lifting community. And uh, it's, it's somewhat undue. And, and I think one of the, one of the reasons, and th this is a little tangential to our discussion within the martial arts, but, um, you know, on the one side, we have to look at the fact that CrossFit has done a lot to popularize strength training. And e even if it is not optimal strength training, with the constant, uh, you know, daily variability and splitting the uh, the time between uh, Olympic lifts and gymnastic movements and, and other varying things, um, it has done a lot to get people off of their butts and into the gym. In fact, one of the big complaints that a lot of people have about uh, strength training or, or exercise in general is that they find it boring and things like CrossFit has helped a lot of people break out of that mindset. So in that way, uh, CrossFit is, is valuable in and of itself, but for the martial artist, where uh, CrossFit or just other cross-training type ideas, um, you know, multimodal, uh, concurrent style, periodized uh, things that go across a broad range of uh, fitness movements, where those really shine for the martial artist is the fact that as a martial artist, our, uh, our, our primary call is to combat, it's fighting. And in the context of fighting, depending on, well, <laughs> depending on what the context of the fight itself is, context within context, uh, you may be called upon to do many, many multiple things. You know, if you were talking a, a non-competitive type fight, then you're talking potentially having to pursue somebody, which means potentially having to run and jump and climb and all of those kind of things. And then on top of that, you may be required to uh, move heavy objects, including the other person, or hold heavy objects down, including the other person. And so having kind of this multimodal approach is uh, an extremely valuable thing. Now, you know, certainly there are issues with CrossFit, but those issues only arise when you define you know, the ends that the means are trying to get to. And if you were keeping everything in a very generally defined end, then very generally defined means is not actually a bad thing. Uh, people certainly do make progress uh, with CrossFit. They, you know, they, they know they, they don't become world record uh, Olympic lifters. They certainly don't become world record power lifters. They don't become world record gymnasts, but that's not the point. The entire point of it is to become a very well-rounded generalist. And I actually think they do that pretty well. So when we look at things, we need to be not so quick to jump on people for uh, the ways that they choose to in, engage and, and pursue their fitness uh, for martial arts because the, the fact is that most of the strength and conditioning that we need to do for martial arts um, that is supplementary to the actual technical fighting aspect of it is going to be of a general nature anyway. So whether you choose uh, Olympic lifting or uh, powerlifting or bodybuilding or CrossFit or bodyweight exercise or whatever, um, the fact is that most of those will serve the purpose of getting you generally fit enough to do the thing. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and get off CrossFit's back, and you know if you got nothing else going. Thanks for watching.
like and subscribe. In the links down below, you can find our social media and I encourage you to follow us there. Take a look at our blog where we have articles that go into depth that we just can't do in our video productions. And on top of that, go to our Amazon store, pick out a shirt that you like and every little bit helps. If you're ever in the Phoenix area, look us up. Come in for a class, come in for open mat, whatever. Love to see you down here. You can find all our contact info on the website. Talk to you guys in the next one. Good journey. Thank <laughs> you.